Hello and welcome to this video, Gareth here from tasteattitudes.com. In this video, we are going to look at the Dochi Bank logo, learn a little bit about the logo and the designer behind it. The Dochi Bank logo was designed in 1973 by a German graphic designer called Anton Stankowski, born 1906. Anton Stankowski started his career by serving an apprenticeship as a church painter and decorator from the early to mid-1920s. After this, he would study graphic design, typography and photography, to which he would then work in advertising. This is where he developed a contemporary style that would later become known as constructive graphic art. Stankowski would pioneer this style and use it extensively in both his design and paintings. In 1951, he established his own design studio in Stuttgart with a number of other well-known graphic artists of the time. Stankowski is well known for creating the Berlin layout, the city's visual identity, which he created during the 1960s. In 1971, Stankowski created a logo for Stadt Brühl, the city Brühl in Germany. Now, what does this one remind you of? Stankowski is also known for creating the identity for the Olympic Congress, Baden-Baden, in 1981. Throughout his life, Stankowski was dedicated to his paintings, working on his constructivist art style, which he devoted himself to completely until his death. To see more paintings and graphic art, you can check out the Stankowski Foundation page. Loads more to see there. Link is in the description. So the Deutsche Bank logo was designed in 1973, when Deutsche Bank was becoming an international financial institution, present in 47 countries. It was time to replace the design that had been used since the mid-1930s, and create a symbol that would be recognised around the world. In 1973, eight well-known artists and graphic designers were invited to create the new symbol, though it would be the design by Stankowski that would be the most favoured. The board of managing directors felt that the diagonal line in the square was the perfect symbol for growth in a stable environment. To quote Anton Stankowski, Dynamic, ascending and secure. A security within a certain reliable and responsible space, in which percentages fluctuate. So the Doji Bank logo is essentially a lock-up combination mark. What makes up the logo are two distinct parts. We have the prominent logo mark, which is the square with the angle strip in the middle, and the logo type word mark. The word mark is a sans serif typeface called Universe Next 360 Basic Bold, designed by Adrian Frutger and published by Linotype. If you want to learn more and take a closer look at the font, there is a link in the description. When used formally, the logo can be seen with the logo type word mark element either to the left, to the right, or underneath. When used in more confined or decorative spaces, the logo mark is typically used alone. The Deutsche Bank logo has become one of the most iconic logos of all time and was number two in Creative Review's 2011 Top 20 Logos of All Time. So what can we learn about this story? Well, it's not easy getting across the nature of a product or business in a logo without, of course, looking cliché. The reason this logo was chosen was because the Board of Managing Directors felt that the diagonal line in the square was the perfect symbol for growth in a stable environment. This logo is not just a stamp or some interesting, unique, distinctive shape. Yes, the logo does look dynamic, but most importantly, the logo communicates a positive message. The kind of message which will never grow tired and what any corporate company would want to get behind. There is strong visual narrative, movement and direction in his design. With its immense simplicity and boldness, the resulting logo mark is dynamic, distinctive and memorable. It still looks as striking now as it did when it first appeared back in 1973. This is an excellent example of how simplicity makes for a timeless logo. When creating logos, consider how simplicity, along with strong narrative, is the formula for timeless logos. When designing a logo, consider how these aspects have worked so well for this logo and how they may benefit your design. If you'd like to learn more about Anton Stankowski, you can find further reading and interesting video and article links in the description. So that's one of many logos and designers I have spoken about. If you enjoyed this video and want to watch more like it, you can see more episodes in the Famous Logos playlist. Link is in the description. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
If you did, hit the like button on my Facebook page. If you'd like to see more videos like this in future, hit the subscribe button. And you can also follow me on Twitter at TastyTutes. So until next time, have fun guys, and I'll see you in the next video.